What is going on everyone? It's Brody back again to answer another common question about tennis strings and that is whether or not a thicker gauge tennis string will actually give you more power. And the answer is not really. And let me explain why. So with any type of tennis string, what you'll notice first off is that there's a few main types. And besides types, I mean there's a few main thicknesses and they're referred to as the gauge of the tennis string. So the most common way you'll hear it referred to is 16 gauge, 17 gauge, 18 gauge, or there are in-betweens like 16L, 17L, 18L, and it keeps going from there. Now, tennis strings are a little bit different, meaning in the fact that the bigger the number, so like 16, 17, 18, the bigger number that is, the thinner the actual string will be. So with a thinner string, the benefits of having a thinner string is that because it's not as thick, it moves better and the strings actually will just move along the racket more when the ball hits it so that they snap back into place a lot faster as the ball is leaving your racket, causing you to gain more power as well as more spin. Even for strings that are more circular, that don't have as many edges as say a string like Slinko Hyper G or Vocal Cyclone, which are have a lot of edges to them, the round polyester strings, or just any round string in general, if you go down to a if you go down to a 17 or an 18 gauge even, those will be a lot more powerful because they're able to move and snap back into place a lot quicker than a thicker gauge. Now like now with the, with the thinner gauges being the 17s, the 18s, 19s, sometimes even 20, which I don't really know anyone that needs a 20 gauge. That's almost insane. But the thinner gauges, they give you more power. They give you more spin. They're also more comfortable on your arm because the string is not as thick. So it's not gonna cause as much vibration to come back to you into your arm when you do hit the ball from just playing however long. Now, the benefits of a thicker string is durability overall. Because a thinner string, like the 17 gauge, the 18 gauge, because those strings are so thin and they provide a lot of power, they provide a lot of spin, they're gonna break a lot quicker than the 16 gauge and sometimes like the 15 gauge, but we don't talk about the 15 gauge. That's for Rafa Nadal. He gets to do whatever he wants because he is Rafa Nadal. For us mortal players, we probably don't ever need to go near a 15 gauge. So 16 is gonna be a pretty good benchmark for most all players because it's one of the more stand one of the more standard sizes being 16 gauge, the other one being 17 gauge if you want to go a little bit thinner to get that more power spin friendly feel from a string. However, like I was saying, durability of the 16 gauge is going to be probably one of the most important points for, from it because this just makes sure that the strings last longer for you. I'm sure all of us that have played for a while or if you've just played you played once and then you left your racket sitting in the garage, you came back to it a year later, you could tell something was different with the strings. And that's because the strings had gone dead in the time from whether we played with, from when we last played with them till now. So with the 16 gauge and the thicker gauges, those tend to last longer because they're thicker so that they just can absorb more from the tennis ball and the impact that's coming at it and they just last longer. You don't have as much power and spin, but you get more durability and a little bit more control from those thicker gate, from those thicker gauges, yes. Now, if you want the thinner gauges, there's nothing wrong with the thinner gauges. You just have to know what suits your preferred play style because the thinner gauges, more powerful, more spin, easier on the arm, they're gonna break pretty quick. So if you got the money to go with the thinner gauges, go for it. I would say you can at least try one just to see what you think. If you're not a chronic string string breaker, like I know some people that 
They would break strings every other day or every two days if they were playing with a 16 gauge string. They should never even look at a 17 gauge or below because they're just gonna break it within two hours. And then that's not fun for anyone. It might be for the opponent because they might win the point or win the match because the person doesn't have another racket, but for everyone else, not fun. So that's pretty much it with, te with the main reasons of if a thicker string will give you more power, you wanna look more towards the thinner strings, which are gonna be the 17 gauges, the 18 gauges, the 19s, the 20s, as long as you don't break string that often, you're gonna be good and just fine to use them. I'd say if you're looking to start and you've only ever used a thicker gauge like a 16 gauge, start with the 17 and just use that as your baseline to then test for, just so that you know, okay, this is how this plays, this is how this plays. I liked this, I just want a little bit more spin or control or just durability, so then you can know whether to go to a different gauge of the string or just change up the tension rather than having to just keep a bunch of different rackets, have 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, all at the same time. You don't know what's going and you got all those rackets strung almost for nothing because you're if you don't like the 17, then you go lower. You're just You're just breaking them quicker. It's not a good time. But with that being said, if you got any value from this video, leave a like on the video, comment down below any other questions that you have so that I can help you out and get the information that you need out to you rather than all the misinformation that I've seen in the tennis community come up. That's the entire reason for this channel. It's so that I can get rid of all that misinformation because a lot of people talk about this stuff, but they don't always necessarily know exactly what they mean and that can sometimes cause hurt pe that can sometimes lead to people getting hurt especially with tennis elbow or any other thing going on so like i said leave a like on the video if you find if you got some value from it today comment down below any questions you have subscribe to the channel so we can grow and make sure that other people just hear the good word of what's going on rather than hearing what could be happening and potentially do something that could harm them. Now, as always, take care.